Hey everyone, we're going to wrap up this topic of magnetism by looking at these three topics in this video, which are making a permanent magnet, destroying a permanent magnet, and uses and applications of electromagnetism. So let's start by looking at making a permanent magnet. So let's take down from this slide two methods to make a permanent magnet. One is called heating and hammering, and the second is called using a solenoid. So let's talk about making a permanent magnet by heating and hammering. You can pause the video and read the slide, or you can listen and then pause the video and read the slide. So in making a permanent magnet, we first use a steel bar. So the steel bar is placed in a magnetic field. It can be the Earth's magnetic field. It is heated to a very high temperature and it is hammered as it is cooled. If the magnet is laying in a north to south direction, it will produce a permanent magnet. So let's take down this method in some simple steps. So let's take down our note with the heading, making a permanent magnet by heating and hammering. And I'm gonna call out a few steps to describe the method. So step one would be heat a steel bar to a very high temperature. Step two, Lay the steel bar in a north to south direction in brackets in the Earth's magnetic field. Step three, hammer the steel bar as it cools. Step four, a permanent magnet will form. Right, and these are the very simple steps by which a permanent magnet can be made. So let's continue our video by looking at what's a solenoid. And you've seen it before in a previous video. So you can pause the video and read or you can listen and then pause the video and read. So this slide looks at magnetization or making a permanent magnet by using a magnetic field of a solenoid. So what's a solenoid? It is a coil of wire. In a previous video, we looked at an iron core or an iron object wrapped in wire. This coil of wire is referred to as a solenoid, right? So where an iron or steel object is placed in a coil of wire, this is called a solenoid. In this method of making a permanent magnet, what is different is we use a steel bar and yes, a current is passed through the solenoid for a short time, it does produce a magnetic field, that is, the steel rod becomes a magnet with magnetic poles because it is now generating its own magnetic field, right? Or the solenoid generates the magnetic field. And we are told when the current is turned off, the steel rod is found to be magnetized that is a permanent magnet as opposed to making a temporary magnet where when the current is switched off, the iron object is no longer a magnet. All right, so in our 
diagram here which shows how to make a permanent magnet using a solenoid. That is, using these steps, we can see that it is different from making a temporary magnet, that is, an electromagnet, where the current is used to make the iron object into a temporary magnet, and once the current is switched off, the iron object is no longer a magnet, as opposed to here, where a steel bar is made into a permanent magnet when or even after the current is switched off. So you're going to take down these steps here, which shows how to make a steel object into a permanent magnet. And you are asked to note that the current flows through the solenoid and not through the steel rod. We are also going to take note which end of our steel bar becomes a north or south pole. So where the current enters, and we're going to see the current entering here, where the current enters, this end becomes a south pole. And where the current leaves, this end becomes the North Pole. So you have to take it down in a short note. Where the current enters, that end becomes the South Pole. Where the current exit, exits, sorry, that end becomes the North Pole. Once again, current in, South Pole, current out, North Pole. Now let us look at demagnetization, which is called destroying magnets. You have to take down the heading. How can a magnet be destroyed? So let's look at the different methods. One method is by heating and hammering, where even though it sounds similar to making a magnet, what is done is you heat the magnet and you hammer it as it cools in an east to west direction. This will demagnetize a magnet. So here we have a magnet, heat, hammer. Once it is in an east to west direction, it will lose its magnetism. Next up, we can demagnetize using a solenoid as well. So if you take a magnet, you place it into the solenoid, similar to the setup before. However, what is changed is, instead of using a direct current, which is DC, an alternating current is used through the solenoid. As the magnet is slowly removed from the solenoid with the alternating current, the magnet becomes demagnetized. And here we have a simple diagram. You can take down the steps, sorry, the steps from the slide, but you have to take note that there are two methods to demagnetize, or take note of the two methods so far to demagnetize a permanent magnet, which is heat and hammer in an east to west direction, and using an alternating current in a solenoid. Now let's look at electromagnetism and some of its uses and applications. Here is where you're going to do some research for me and you are going to answer the question, can you state three uses of electromagnets? And you're going to see some in the diagram above or in the pictures above here. All right, so we have a metal scrapyard a magnetic train, and here we have a doorbell. Alright, so you are going to do some research and find out three other uses of electromagnets. And we are going to continue by just wrapping up this topic of magnetism 
by once again touching on how can we take an electromagnet such as a simple one we have seen in our example to produce strong electromagnets that can be used let's say for example in a metal scrapyard or even a magnetic train which this is actually called the maglev train right it works by magnetic levitation quote unquote so let's look at three ways in which to make an electromagnet stronger right so electromagnetic strength you're going to take down this note from the slide by increasing the number of coils an electromagnet can be made stronger by increasing the current flowing through the coil or the solenoid the magnet can be made stronger or even if you have a steel bar in your electromagnet you can add in another iron core into there in the center of the coil and this will make your electromagnet stronger and this concludes our lessons on magnetism and demagnetization and making permanent magnets as well as electromagnetic strength you have to make sure and view the other videos that I'm gonna send for you as well right thank you everyone for viewing uh, please have a great day bye